All right, this is Buck Spring Tunnel, which was the name of George Vanderbilt's lodge. It was called Buck Springs Lodge. So we are real close, friends. Back then, no tunnels, though. It was up and over mountains to get there. And he owned all of this, by the way. This is Mount Pisgah, Blue Ridge Parkway. George Vanderbilt, the owner of the Biltmore House, owned Mount Pisgah. It was part of the 125,000 acres that he owned, which was quite a bit of acreage. So Mount Pisgah parking area. We're going to see if we can find that foundation, friends. Okay, so this is the Mount Pisgah spot up here. We're looking for the Buck Springs Gap overlook which is uh where buck springs as i mentioned was the name of his area and i believe it's this first one he said there's two parking lots and we're trying to go yep the buck springs overlook is up there so this is it this is where we want to be elevation 4980 feet right at 5000 stay tuned friend that's a good ways down there friends turn truck off Buck Springs Overlook. So we're going to go to the Buck Spring Overlook over here. And see if we can find it. definitely a man-made rock wall you see how square it is this may be part of the foundation I just can't believe they would have torn it down but that looks like a foundation area right there let's look further Windy up here, friends. <laughs> I want the wind to blow me off. I don't like that at all. And this is what the Buck Spring Lodge looked like. Just a beautiful place. And it showed the main lodge, Midway Cottage, dining and kitchen in the back. So we're going to go down to the spring house, which they say is down. The trail to the spring house is located down the hill. So down, I guess they mean over there. So we're going to try to find it. It's still here. But that's the interior of it. Amazing. So that wall that we saw back there could have been the edge of this or the edge could be that little edge right there. Looks very similar to that. Right here, friends. 
and he could stand up here. He owned all of this. Can you imagine owning all of this? 125,000 acres? I thought we might be able to see the Biltmore house from here, but I don't see it. And there's also, I read, that they had cut a trail through the woods from the Biltmore house to here. So we're gonna fly the glory in a moment and see if we can see any remnants of that trail. Let's go find the spring house. So there's the, the overlook. I'm thinking when they say down the hill, they're talking about down here. Yep, here it is, friends. This is the foundation to the, the place. There's steps. You can see that's the foundation all the way down. We're going to look around some more, see if we can find the actual spring house. The spring house is where they had a water spring. This is definitely foundation to the house. Piece of metal all crumpled up. Not sure what that is. Maybe roofing. So friends, if you go to where that foundation is and you go off to the right hand side of it down this trail, you will find the spring house. This is original and there's still water coming out of it. It's actually frozen going down to the pond down there. So this belonged to George Vanderbilt. This is original. Still here, still running water. Amazing. They built a retaining wall behind it to keep probably, I guess, water off of it and to keep things from washing down and destroying it, but it is still here. And these are pieces of the shingles from back in the day. Amazing piece of history right here. Eighteen hundreds, friends. So friends, just imagine George Vanderbilt himself has been right here at this spring house. They built this for him. This was part of his hunting lodge. And you know he came down here and got water and did stuff like that. I know he had servants and stuff, but you know he came down here. So, amazing. And you can see I had to climb that trail, climb down that trail, so now I gotta go back up. But George Vanderbilt's spring house at Buck Springs Lodge, right here. I guess that may be Buck Springs right there. These are retaining walls. And you can see retaining walls up here. Staircase. I'm gonna see if I could find this staircase in any of the pictures. Friends, so you can see the wall comes down, the turns goes in, comes down, there's a staircase here. So let's go up this staircase and see if we can see anything up here. This thing was demolished in the 60s. So it's been torn down longer than I've been alive, early 60s. So we're gonna fly over it with the glory. Of course, it's really windy up here. 
and see if we can get a feel for where it was looking straight down. I hope the glory can stay in this wind. So when you're coming down the trail right here, if you'll go to this side, this is the side that has the foundation on it. You don't see that every day. All things Scottish. So this is the foundation to the house if you look this way. There's the retaining wall that goes all the way down and the staircase is at the far end down there. But this is the overlook and the house would have been right over there looking out on that. So friends, don't look now, but uh, when the drone takes off, you'll see the guy in the kilt coming out of the woods right there. You see him and uh, why he's wearing a kilt, I don't know. But that is a parking lot and the lodge would be, if I fly straight forward, the lodge would be over in this area. And you can see a set of steps right there. That's where the wall is that I showed you just to your right where that cleared path is. And then you can see that there's a bench to sit on down in there. That set of stairs that I showed you is on the back side of the kitchen on the far right. I'm going to show you a, uh, a schematic of it. So if you look on the where it says dining and kitchen building, you see there's a set of steps and you see the retaining wall going off to the right away from those steps. That is the steps that we saw on the back side over there. So that's the steps. I'm going to go to a drone shot and you'll see the steps just a little bit to the bottom right of your screen. You see it to the right. And so you can kind of see how that laid out going forward to where the, uh, the lodge would have been over in the clearing on the far right top of the screen. And that kind of gives you an idea of the layout. I'm going to put that back up one more time just so you can see. Uh, it started there where that bench is at. That's the back of the kitchen. And then it worked towards the, uh, the opening right there. So the schematic is upside down. If you imagine the lodge in the clearing and the dining and kitchen, uh, you're standing on the back of it. That's where it was right there. There's the spring house as opposed to it, which is far further down to your far right. So if you walk back up the hill to the left of the spring house, you can see, you'll see the bench in the clearing over to, or you see the clearing, you can't see the bench, but that's the clearing where the main house was right up there. So I hope that gives you a vantage point where you can kind of understand what it looked like. I always kind of in my mind thought that from here, you'd be able to see the Biltmore house. But of course, now you know that that is not accurate. You cannot see it from here. Uh, I took the glory up and looked in all directions, not there. So friends, I want you to notice the shape of the tip of this mountain right here. Uh, you'll see it in a moment. It's got the antenna on it. Now look in this next picture and you can see it right there over the top of the kitchen. That is the kitchen. You see the shape of that? And look in the top uh, right where it says dining and kitchen, you'll see the shape of that. So the mountain was directly behind the front of that template was right here. So the kitchen was, it went back and to the right as you go down the hill right there is where all of the original stuff was. And I'm gonna show you another picture in a moment. You can see the mountain is up a little bit to your right. So the kitchen was actually twisted just a little bit around. I think the lodge may have even been around at a little bit of an angle. So you can see there's the kitchen, there's the uh, mountain. And so I just want you to, to get kind of a vantage point of what that looked like. So friends, I wanted Laurie to be able to see this wall. Shame. I'm going to drive up here. That is the wall right there. At the far end of it, there's a set of stairs that goes up. So the lodge was up in here. Okay. See that? And so friends, I want to show you one more thing before we leave this part. And that is, if you are not physically able to walk down to that spring house, it is right here. If you see this little intersection here, you could see the spring house right there. So you may be more physically able to walk through and walk to the spring house right there. There it is. You see it? <gasps> what is that? The spring house. That's a spring house. Are you not paying attention? That is tiny. Well, baby, it's just for a water spring. That's where they got their water I from. I thought spring house meant it was a spring house. They go stay in the spring. No, baby. So friends, we're coming off the mountain and I cannot tell from here, but that looks like Biltmore to me out there. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe we can tell in this close up, but that looks like the Biltmore house to me from here. Tighten up. 